so hello friends today in this video uh, I will going to show you how to implement editing feature in webgis so how to edit the attribute of particular feature or how to edit the shape of a particular feature or how to you can add a new feature in a particular layer on web so this is my web page so I'll refresh it this is my geo server so for this uh, video you must see my previous video like I am using the geo server um, inside the tomcat and also I have published my layer in the geo server and I am using the ext uh, js 4. Point, I think 4.1 version and uh, geoxt also so in the previous video I have shown what all are the libraries I am using so this is my tomcat in that I have installed my geo server you can see the video i will give the uh, i will give the dis uh, uh, the the link for the video in the description like, like how to install the geo server in the tomcat and then how to um, how to give the basically the path of the all the apis which i am using so these are the libraries i am using ext.js geoxt and open layers so i will give the link of all these three apis also from where you can download it and you can put inside your folder and how you will give the uh, links so on the web page uh, I will I will explain the web page later on first I will show you what is the application I can uh, what, is the, what is the capability of this application so this is the basic which I have already explained in the previous video such as this is the layer panel all the layers are coming suppose I have added this layer only uh, my India state boundary and on the base on the behind base layer i am using the osm map this is the freely available you can use the uh, osm or google also but google is not free so this is the available layer button all the layers which, which one have uploaded in the geo server it is coming here so you can click any layer and just add, do add to map so layer will come so this is the way and you can add any other layer also like this so layer will come here also you can click and remove layer you can right click and remove layer so the, on the region will come here these are the few of the basic tools such as pan map zoom in zoom out zoom to max full extent of the map zoom by rectangle history previous major length and uh, this is major area so I will explain how I implemented this then get feature info so get feature info is basically if you click here so it will give you the attributes of the particular feature and here I have given the drop down so all the layers in the geo server will come here and you can edit the layer so okay so here this is basically a WMS layer web mapping service so in this these are the tiles these layers are coming as an image JPEG or PNG so you see this blurring effect you can see this is JPEG not actual feature is not coming only the JPEGs of or the images of the layer is coming so actual but here I am using WFS this thing is WFS web feature service so actual it will fetch the actual feature so I'll show you suppose um, so this is my layer so I know this is my India state so India state I will add and I will query it so what it will do it will fetch all the features here see it's orange color all the feature this is the actual feature it is fetching so if you select here it will select the attributes also if you select here if you select here vice versa and also I have given the so here you can add a filter also here you can add further combo box combo box in that attribute will also come I have also uploaded that video how to do that you can you can see that video also so you can give the attribute then you can give the operator such as greater than less than like and then you can query so only it will filter the features and it will show the attribute but here I am showing only the how to add a feature or modify a feature so here I have what I have given if you you can here you can what you can do you can suppose I will select this feature so I can add the name so if you double click this if I will give and this one two and what I will do if I will save it so it is saving this so now you see you again select this on the Pradesh 1 2 so it have it has modified the feature further you can create also so 
suppose if I select create and I will create any polygon here so it, it has created a new feature select it you can give any name suppose I have given new and I will give any ID suppose 45 and okay okay I have to switch on this if I'll save this so it has created a new feature suppose again I want to create a new feature here just create it just select this feature and you can give any any name any ID just save it okay so it has created a new feature two new features so if this is clear selection it will draw so you can see in WMS layer also two features are coming you just get feature info and click it so automatically it has added two feature so if you again query it so two feature are coming here see I can remove this feature very easily I'll click here I'll delete it just save it see it has removed the feature very simple and also you can modify the shape suppose you want to modify a shape you just create a modify and just create click on that you can further modify shape I'll just remove all this you can see this it has deleted that feature and also it it has modified that feature. Okay. So it is that simple. So if you refresh this web page and you see this page again, new feature it is showing like this. So what I'll do, I'll remove this because this feature is not looking good. I'll remove this and I'll save the this is as simple I, I'll, I'll show you some on some other uh, such as USA population also we can do so yeah I will add the WMS layer also so you can see the colors so I have deleted most of the features so we can edit the feature suppose uh, this is CA so what I will do I will make it change the name and just save it where it is ok this one I'll change the, okay you can give two names only actually th this is a very short one you can change the name here Double click. See, the name of the layer is changed to WE. Select it, WE. You can change anything. Uh, suppose I want to change the shape of this. I'll just modify. I'll click it here. Just do like this. Do like this. And just make it save. You can see. Remove it. Shape of this feature has been changed so I'll again do this I'll reshape it you save it you see here and you can you can create a new feature also
so I will give any value here I will give any value I will give any name Need RTY something RT ok that's it I will save it so you see this automatically new feature I have created a new feature and if you go to get feature info see it has created the attributes here so this is a very simple thing you can do here you can do the feature editing it's a very easy task so now i'll show you how i have implemented it so this is my web page so in previous videos also i have explained so these are the links of the open layer so here inside the tomcat web apps test folder libs this is the open layer so you see localhost 8081 test this test folder this is the port number which i have given libs open layer so link of for the open layer then link for the ext.js this one and this is the link for the gvxt then these all are the basically the function which i am using of gvxt so i have uh, then ext require we require these many functions so first of all bounds of the map the bounds means this this is the bound then options simple map options this is this uh, this is the which is basically the function of open layers so maximum extent is bound projection is 4326 means wgs 84 simple geographic lat long unit degree zoom is 5 then i've created a new map then I have had three layers OSM layer this is, these are WMS layer India state layer India district layer three layers and I have added to the map then I have added the control means which is showing this uh, this one latitude longitude then these are the pan map means this one this all are feature uh, these all functions I have added one by one pan pan map zoom in zoom out zoom to max extent zoom to zoom by rectangle street control then measure length measure area then this is get feature info this one info then clear selection means i am destroying all the features or all the pop-ups then i write the map panel in the map panel i have created a bar and i have ordered all the features here map and zoom in zoom out so it's very easy then this is the web capability store means these all are layer this list of layer is coming through this wfs capability store so i have given the link through geo server so you have to give the port where you have installed you maybe you you may have uh, you must have been installed in 8080 because by default it will take 8080 port which i have modified because i have another instance of geo server installed on 8080 so this link you have to see according to your uh, machine and then context menu is this basically this if you right click on this this is the context menu so i have given two things here uh, like zoom to layer extent and remove layer then store means basically tree i have added the tree this is the tree you can see this tree. so whatever layer you will add it will come in the tree then wms grid basically this available layer this is called wms grid so it will add the wms layer here and uh, after that i have legion panel means this one all the legion will come here one by one then editing layer combo means this combo so i have created a new combo in that i have given wfs capability store which i have created earlier and uh, then editing panel this is the whole panel so in this uh, panel i have created a query button and i have retrieved the values layer value index value record value i have retrieved all the attributes of particular layer and then after that it is running this function this function is in the end editing function if you go the end, end of the page okay, here i am calling this function editing this is the editing function so it is passing all the value field name number of fields now how many number of fields are there in particular layer field type layer value namespace value 
then i am creating a vector layer so whatever you are seeing here this is the vector layer it is creating over it this one then i am adding to the map but i am not showing in the display display in layers which are means false here it is not showing that vector layer I, if you make it true it will show then these all are the fields i am um, i am putting in a particular basically um, in a particular variable i am put I am pushing all the fields. Then I have created a store, GXT store here, and this is the layer name. This is dynamic layer. Whatever layer you select here, it will come in layer name and namespace name. Then here it is the modify control means this modify button. Then draw control means this draw. Create. So point, line, polygon. It depends on the layer whatever level you select it will automatically take that uh, drawing uh, whether you want to draw a poly polygon point or line so you can you will make this as a comment otherwise it will take every time it will show then modify then i am creating a grid grid means this is the grid in grid i am giving the column name means all the attributes and here it is for editing by double clicking if you double if you double click the feature then it will edit this so here at here i have given clicks to edit two then i have created a button delete button how to delete then save button these are the things two things so this that's it this is the in short you can go through this web page and you can you can understand oh this is the function so uh, this is the function which i have shown and few other things also like north north is nothing this panel only i just i have just given the panel here north then south means this grid south panel then west means pre and legend so i have added in south i have created a south panel sorry west panel and add all the layer uh, le layer panel and legend, legend panel into this pre and legend panel query editing means nothing just editing panel here and finally a viewport viewport means this whole map so in viewport we have west we have east we have map panel and we have south fourth thing map panel north these are the things so if you install tomcat you put geo server into this and put your all your layer shape files and raster whatever layers you can put into the geo server i have uploaded those videos also you can go through those videos and just download this ext.js and geoxj and put these libraries in a folder and give uh, the links above the page like this and you just modify the name of your layers here so you will be able to run this uh, web page very easily so that's it from the video guys if you will if you will face any problem just let me know in the comment so i'll try to explain and by the way i will I will uh, give the description. Uh, I will uh, give the link of this web page also. I will upload this in my Google Drive, and uh, then I will give the link in the description. You can download and directly you can modify this web page according to your need. So thank you. Thanks for watching.